Hello unlimited friends, it's Zara back again with Q&A about the law of attraction and its application to our lives. The question today was submitted by Chrissy and her question is, I've heard of Helen Hadsell. She won every contest that she participated in and she actually also won a house. Was she using law of attraction? How can I use her technique to win the lottery? I have to say, this is a fun question. I'm so excited about it. So yes, Helen Hadsell is known as the con contest queen. In her lifetime, she won over 5,000 contests and she won trips, amazing trips, trips to France. She won a house. She won every single contest that she participated in. And how it started for her was that she read Norman Vincent Peale's book, The Power of Positive Thinking. And coincidentally, this is one of the long ago, one of the books that I read. It's part of my journey and I absolutely loved it. It was from Norman Vincent Peale that I learned the power of gratitude and appreciation. And this is long before I ever heard of the law of attraction. So from that book, what she learned was to ask and then trust and manifest. She learned from Norman Vincent Peale to ask without doubting that you will receive. And that's what a lot of us call trust and faith. Norman Vincent Peale called it faith. And, and that really is at the basis of law of attraction. So as Hen, uh, Helen Hensel explains, she shortened it to create a formula for herself. Her formula was select it, project it, expect it, and then collect it, which is really the formula for creation and manifesting that Abraham teaches us. Select it. Now, Helen said, be really specific in what you want. Select the thing. Know what you want. Because if you have doubt and you're not sure whether you want this thing or that thing, then this formula is not going to work for you. This formula works if you know exactly, precisely what you want. So identify that thing. Project it, meaning see yourself with it. It's, uh, it's like visualization. See yourself in that reality, having the thing that you want. So that's visualization. And then expect it, meaning you, you don't have any thoughts that are contradictory towards what you are asking for. No contradiction. And then collect it receive it, allow it to manifest, right? That's her formula. Does it follow law of attraction? Absolutely, it does. And here's the missing piece that you will pick up if you listen to any of Helen Hadsell's videos that are on YouTube just now. The missing piece is that she only asked once. She did not sit there every single day visualizing that she was going to get this thing. She only did it once and then she let it go because she never doubted it. You see, if you have to do the visualization, if you have to do this formula, S-P-E-C, again and again, that means that you have doubt. The absence of doubt means I only have to ask once. I'm going to ask once and then I'm going to let it go because I don't need to work on it because it's not something I have control over. I have asked and I am letting go and I'm going to let the universe bring it to me. So select it, project it, expect it and collect it. The key here for most of us is number one, selection. People, usually when we have uh, a desire, we are not sure. 
We are not sure. There's so much doubt around it. Am I asking for too much? Am I worthy of it? Certainly when I started my law of attraction journey many years ago, those were kind of the thoughts that I used to think. I want it, but can I really have it? Can it happen for someone like myself? Can I be so lucky as to be able to get this thing that I want? So you see, even with the first thing, the first step in the process selected, there was doubt in the selection. Am I selecting the wrong thing? Is this really going to be to my benefit? Will this really work out for me? And then project it. Step number two, I listened to a lot of other people, teachers out there who said, visualize it spe with specificity, with exactness and do it over and over and over again. But that was the wrong advice. And this is why visualization is not working for most people. Look around you. How many people are trying to visualize? How many times have you tried to visualize? I don't know about you, but I can speak for myself that visualization did not work for me. It did not work for me. It worked for me only in those instances where I did it once and then I forgot about it. Then it worked. But visualization does not work if you do it over and over again because it results in doubt. Every single time you go into your visualization, what you're telling the universe is, I don't have it, I would like it. I don't have it, I would like it. And when you do it that way, you are splitting your energy apart. So don't do that because split energy slows everything down. Split energy is an absence of trust. Expect it. If I expect it, I don't have to think about it over and over again. If I expect it, I don't have to ask for it over and over again. How crazy would it be if you ordered something on Amazon and every single day, you went to customer service and you said to them, where's my thing? I haven't got it yet. I haven't got it yet. I haven't got it yet. You see, ex expectation means I have asked and it is coming and there is no reason why this will not happen for me. Zero doubt. When you have zero doubt, you don't think about it again. When you place a, an order on Amazon, the only thing you do is to look forward to its arrival at your doorstep. You don't question whether or not it will get there. You are so sure. And that's how sure you need to be with the universe's ability to deliver what you want. And when you are that sure, it will come. And then that's the, the last step. Collect it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. So, do I think Helen Hetzel was using law of attraction? Absolutely, she was. She was. Um, Norman Vincent Peale, to me, was one of my earliest teachers. And I have a lot of tremendous love and respect for him. If you want to check out the book, The Power of Positive Thinking, I'm going to link it below in, in the notes, in the description to this video. And so the last part, part of your question, Chrissy, how can I use her technique to win the lottery? Know this, just by sending me this question, you have already asked. The universe already knows what you want. You don't have to ask again. The steps that you need to do now is to, is to um, project it so you can visualize it. If you've already visualized it, once or twice or three or four times, don't visualize it again. Expect it. Expect that your order is going to be delivered. No question about it. There should be no question about it in your mind. And then it will come. And when it comes, there is another step. And that is appreciate, appreciate, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. And when you celebrate, you go up the emotional scale, you become more stable high on the emotional scale and more and more things come into your life. Get, um, get, some, get some practice with manifesting. Start small. You see, one of the things that goes wrong with people 
who are um, who want to win the lottery is that they really don't believe it. They believe that the odds of winning are very small. You see, one of the reasons Helen had sell, one was because she never doubted it. She didn't think about the odds. She called herself a winner at the time when she sent in her <coughs> her um, her form when she participated. She didn't question it. So the winning of lottery has to be something normal and natural to you. For her, it was like if if Norman Vincent Peale says you can manifest things by visualizing them, by expecting them, that's what I'm going to do. She just followed the formula to the dot. She didn't question it. Then she got her own proof and her own proof made her believe even more that the formula worked. And then she tried it again and she tried it with small things, roller skates for her son, um, pony for her daughter. She, she, she tried it with little things. And then, um, what were some of the other things that she wanted? She wanted a motor boat for her husband. She wanted for Micah for her kitchen. Like she started with small things and then she started manifesting the trips. Because what she said was, if I can manifest a pair of roller skates, why not manifest something bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger? And so the winning of lottery has to be natural. It has to feel like, of course, I'm going to win. It's the most natural thing that should happen for me. And that's when you will win. The other method that Abraham teaches us of manifesting things is ask and just forget about it. And then you will win. So Chrissy, very good question. Love the question. I'm pretty sure lots of people have this question. And I hope that you found this helpful and useful. And I look forward to hearing good news. Start with small scratch cards. You know, the $1 scratch cards. Start small and start building your muscle for expecting a win. And then you will win. Love you all lots. Thank you for your questions. And people who are new here, hi, I'm Zara Mahoon. I write the blog zmahoon.com. This is my hot seat. I'm the author of 16 books on the subject of law of attraction. And it is, um, I would like to work with people who are ready to transform their lives, who are willing to make the commitment to do the work so that they can have more love in their lives and more money in their bank accounts. Who do you know? who might want to work with me. All right, folks, remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Leave me a comment and I hope that you visit my channel again. Bye for now.